Hi YouTube, August empties um, at the beginning of September. As usual, I kind of held on to the 11th hour because I've got quite a few products that I'm nearly, nearly, nearly at the end of and thought I would get to the end of. And I kind of wanted to do that and get them into this video because um, as much as other quarters really in the year I always feel the start of September is is a new time of year when you know it's autumn and it's the three month trot to Christmas so it's it's a very definite change of season and change of product and um, new colours new fragrances all those sorts of ideas you know making me want to have a fresh start but I also hate throwing away or wasting product so where I haven't got to the end of something I haven't got to the end of it however there is um, no point in keeping things that aren't working for you and this is one of those products I, it's the first BB cream that I bought because I was very skeptical about the idea it seems to me that overall that the, the concept certainly as it's been developed in Europe it may have been very different in Asia where it started really is that these are glorified tinted moisturisers. Um, now, I'm not sure that's entirely true now that I've got to try a few more of them, but this was the first one that I bought and tried by Maybelline um, because I was not, you know, that convinced that I wanted to spend on a quality one. So I went drugstore and I like a lot of Maybelline's makeup products, I've had really good success with them their um, dream touch lumi pen i've talked about before i think it's one of the best products high end low end medium end of um of its type on the market so i went with this one and i you know i just really hate it <laughs> i've tried and tried it's not a bad moisturizer um maybe i picked the wrong color that's really really dark although it's meant to be the glow edition that is um, useful for all um, complexions but you know the starting point is even though the colour um, worked in quite a bit different from that orangey shade um, it, it never quite fitted my complexion so I had to work with mixing it with other products and it did sort of work when I mixed it with my Ch Chanel Vita Lumiere um, to tone the colour down but also it changed the consistency frankly because that was the main problem with this it just felt tacky and not particularly moisturising certainly not giving me the coverage I wanted um, and then when I tried to use it up this month uh, and I don't know if it's anything to do with this but I did wear it day in day out for about 10 days mixed with the Chanel got a most enormous zit on my chin which I haven't had for a long time so that's going it's not working um mali volumizing mascaras do work for me um i'm not sure they're as great as she makes them out to be but they're pretty good they um give good coverage um last fairly well i do still get panda eyes with them and what I do find is I get panda eyes after the product starts to age. So there's still, I'm showing you the brush here because that's exactly the kind of medium brush I quite like. Um, there's still quite a bit of product in there, but it started getting flaky when I put it on my lashes. So I'm not sure it's three months, probably nearer two months I've had that, but it's got to go. A uh, product I really did like, didn't expect to like, not what... I um, bought it for is this Astolift Moist Nurturing Eye Cream. Now I bought an Astolift set for the Hero product which is the kind of jelly, um, I'm going to say serum, it's not a serum, they have a serum, but it's a, a jelly that you put on under your moisturiser that got um, rave reviews I suspect from the PR people when it came out because I haven't heard so much about it since then it doesn't make many hero products lists so I think it was just buzz generated by PR that I fell for as usual anyway I bought a set which included a makeup remover an oil makeup remover which I don't generally like it was okay um, two moisturizers the day and the night 
the the jelly obviously and this the eye cream um which i would not have bought other than it was in the um the back the set and the other thing that i didn't immediately like about it was it's quite thick um tacky for a moisturizer um for the eye area there's a little bit left now i've been brought up in the school of thought that your eye moisturizer should be um, somewhat thinner than your face moisturiser or it will contribute to getting those little um, white, um, do they call them melia, mela marks under your eyes and around the eye area um, because the pores will get clogged in that delicate area. So I was immediately dubious but I have to say I used this on and off for about six months as long as it's took, taken me to use this quite small bottle up and I really liked it. I did feel it improved moisturisation in that delicate eye area. You do have to be careful patting it on but um, it didn't give me uh, any spots, any outbreaks. I really, really liked it and I would consider buying this again Um Although I've got plenty of eye creams at the moment. Um, I'm on a retinol one at the moment. Uh, wash products, hot month, uh, great, pink grapefruit, shower gel. That's the travel size that I had. And a travel size of the body butter. Love them. Bought them before. Will buy them again. Uh, I'm now on to Dove Dry and Cream um, deodorants now that I can't find um, my favorite um, previous brand uh, I do prefer these ones that you know come out in a cream but they're terribly difficult to find these days I don't know why I think they're so much more effective than the other types but you know they both went in the last three months uh, I used up one of my old favorite perfumes Jo Malone grapefruit I talked in my video of favourites the other day about how I think her colognes, I'm saying her colognes, Jo Malone sold out to Esther Lauder quite a long time ago. I still love the fragrances, but I'm finding they're not nearly as long lasting as they used to be. What will be interesting is the next time, if there's a next time that I buy this one, um, grapefruit, because this is a long lasting one. But I've had this for quite a while before I busted it open and then it took ages to finish as Jo Malone fragrances always used to for me but don't so much now because you have to reapply them such a lot. So I'm not in the mood to buy this one again straight away to be honest. It's quite um, a deep almost masculine grapefruit that doesn't smell, it definitely smells of grapefruit but in quite a cologne way it's a strong fragrance which does mean it transitions from summer to other seasons but I'm just not in the mood for it so much at the moment been using a lot of shampoos Aveda shampoo this was um quite a big travel size I love Aveda shampoo um would definitely buy that again it's a very gentle um but nicely lathering um shampoo that definitely feels not stripping on the hair um it's quite expensive smells nice this is a new um range from jennifer aniston's hairdresser i've forgotten what he's called um and it's not telling me on the back here um living proof anyway is the range i got it as a sephora freebie and uh really liked the one shampoo and condition I got out of the sachets. My problem is sometimes you don't even get a full one. This is a L'Oreal. looks like a giant sachet, but honestly, there was such a tiny bit in. didn't even lather up for one whole shampoo. doesn't encourage me to buy them. Victoria's Secret Makeup Remover Wipes. I do use wipes along with another form of cleansing quite often. I like the Coraz ones the best, but these were good. Um... And they were nice and moist, which is what I like, not too dry, some of them are. Um, those work very well. Um, loved this fragrance that I got from the Perfumed Court as a sample, Pacifica, the organic range, the Indian coconut nectar, just pure coconut, really. Um, unfortunately, that rather poor bottle leaked um, in the end. So that was quite poor of the Perfumed Court. They're um, an outfit in... California I think that sell 
decants of perfume if you want to try niche perfumes and um, they have a very good selection but um, sometimes their packaging isn't all it might be finished up an Alemis um, papaya enzyme peel I wouldn't buy it but it was quite nice um, haven't finished up but I'm showing you because I can't now get it out of the bottle with this pump action so I'm going to have to um, transfer the last bit into an ordinary little bottle this was the last part of that set I showed you of um, there was a shower oil gel mix and um, a body cream this is the almond supple skin oil uh, I loved the shower uh, oil of these less keen on these but I'm not a great oil fan for the body so that's really why I wouldn't buy it again if you're in the market for an oil it's as nice as any of them I guess um, and that's just a little fragrance sample that I can't really remember to be honest Givenchy um, Dahlia I think um, so that was August um, I hope you had a great summer we're apparently going to have really good weather for the next week still in the UK but it's definitely autumn you can feel the chill starting in the air at night and in the mornings and uh, the nights are drawing in but I'm really looking forward to trying new products and um, particularly new makeup see you soon bye